If you don't know Science Slam or this show, uh, it's like science popularization format uh, when scientists perform on stage and explain their research in an entertaining way. So thanks to Karel Kubíček and his colleague Martina Zánová, who can't be here tonight, we learned how the NMR spectroscope works. So please let's welcome and applaud for Karel Kubíček who is going to explain us nuclear magnetic resonance principles in a way you never forget. Let's enjoy the show. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy you, have, uh, you are in a good mood. Uh, and I hope not to disappoint you very much. Uh, so, um, I was not that much nervous a month ago uh, as I'm now. As you can see, I'm alone, but uh, we'll make it. Um, you can interact, feel free to ask questions, whatever you want to know about NMR, just, just ask or ask uh, some friends of mine. There is Vladimir Sklenar, for example, who's very much interested. And uh, yeah, uh, so when you want to start with any spectroscopy, you need to learn this. This is uh, Schrodinger equation. And uh, if you don't, any, don't know anything about it, you're lost. But um, we'll try to simplify it. And uh, we'll start from this. So you all know probably what is, uh, what is all the matter around us made of. So you know electrons, you know the, the atom, uh, the nuclei. Uh, what you don't know that uh, the nuclei can be important for us. Um, so you can see that the electrons are spinning around the nuclei, which is fantastic, and I want you to keep that in mind, because it will be coils, it will be uh, magnetic field, it will be electromagnetic field, and whatsoever. So uh, whenever I talk to people about NMR, what I'm doing, they can see something like this. It's nuclear, so it's dangerous. It's not dangerous at all. But we need magnet. We need strong magnets. And uh, the strongest magnet we have here, thanks again uh, to Vladimir Sklenar and his crew, which I'm part of as well. I'm happy, thanks. Uh, so um, we need the, the, the magnets, but if you will have the magnets like this, you will go to one Tesla, which is boring. Not like one car, we don't get one Tesla, each of us. But we have 22 or 23 Tesla in, uh, in the strongest magnet. And the only problem is uh, the resonance. For example, when we were in the Kutlarska campus, there was a lot of resonance, but not from the magnets, but from the, from the tramways and trolley buses which were going around. So we had to deal with that somehow. So uh, I want you to uh, learn from, from, from the lecture of now that there will be spin, that there will be relaxation, and that it will be somehow useful. So relaxation, at the beginning, we can what can we measure with NMR? We can measure any molecule, but the molecule has to relax. So we have two molecules, one is uh, small and one is big. So if we excite the molecule from, uh, let's say, a height of about, yeah, I would like to be two meters, but it's about 160. So if we leave the molecule to relax, it relaxes rather fast. If we take a small molecule and we leave it relax, it relaxes slowly. And this is the point of NMR. So if you talk to Pavel Plevka, he will say it's useless. He's wrong. <laughs> On the other hand, for viruses, it's really useless. Uh, but if you will talk about alcohol, which you are drinking now, it's very useful because we can tell you whether there is methanol or not. And if there is methanol, don't drink it. Or dilute it with ethanol. That's antidotum. That's the nice thing on that. OK. So what do we measure? We measure spin. Uh, what is a spin? We'll get to that uh, a bit later. You know what is compass, right? So you have the, the point in there, which we will call spin. And how does the compass work? It aligns around uh, the magnetic field of the Earth. Right? And the magnetic field of Earth is about 45 microtesla. And I said we have like 23 tesla. 
So all the spins in uh, our nuclei align with the external magnetic field. And what we are focused on, uh, which, uh, which uh, atoms we are focused on, is depicted here. So if you see our body, it's about 65 water, 65% of water, depending when did you come to the party. So it may be a bit diminished by, 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 by alcohol, which is not depicted here, because it should be pro mile, not percent. If it is percent, there is hospital somewhere around here. We have proteins, we have nucleic acids, and we have some fat and uh, things like this. So you can see that in each of these molecules, water, proteins, nucleic acid, we have some uh, hydrogen. And that's what we like really much. Uh, in alcohol, there is hydrogen as well. If there is too much water, you have been fooled and you are paying too much for the alcohol uh, because it diluted its water. So you'll not get drunk and you are wasting your money. Um, so uh, we have the magnet, we have the spin. And uh, now, uh, what do we need? We need uh, to know which uh, frequency, which part of the electromagnetic uh, spectra we are using. So I'll ask the first song. Perfect. So you know that we are in radio frequencies. And the gaga is the sequence of nucleic acids. Because, you know, it's GA, GA. So complementary to that would be CU, CU. So we can see, uh, measure not only single strand, but also double strand, and Queen knew it. So uh, NMR is old uh, uh, technique, like 1950s uh, when uh, the first spectrum was measured. And uh, then uh, we need uh, to measure something, some information about the structure, right? So uh, I have my partner here. Uh, he'll stand up. Okay, uh, we'll define spin a bit later, uh, but here you can see spins. Those who will complain that in Scala it was uh, gender equilibrium, that there was a man and there was a female, here you can see just two male. It has a reason, because we are two identical spin. I'm spin Karel, that's spin Karel as well. <laughs> and we are both, or in the spectrum, we are homonuclear. Okay, so if there would be a lady, it won't work, but just in the spectrum. Okay, so uh, when we need to know something about the structure of the proteins or nucleic acids, like the queen would like to know about GAGA, uh, we need uh, so-called NOE. Okay, so you can see that we have uh, here indicators whether we are close enough in space. So I'll try whether it will work. I have to check mine. Okay, mine is working. It, it is indeed. And here I can see. No. No. Okay. Okay, so you can see here that on the bow ties, we are kind of close in space, but you cannot see it really intensely. But if we come closer, hold on, hold on. Yes, I'm coming closer. It should change the color. I'm getting too close. Okay, I'm red. You can see that the intensity improved because we are closer in space. Okay, and the fantastic thing is, despite we are, no! Despite we are homonuclear, we don't touch. It's true space. There is nothing binding us. We can touch. But it's through space, so don't touch, please. We can, there can be bond, but we don't need that today. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, of the NMR. I don't know whether mine is off. Okay, no. Okay, now I'm off. So, uh, now you are wondering why is this good for? Uh, and this is because of the spin. So, uh, I said, that uh, here <clears throat> we have uh, magnet, um, we have compass, 
and the point which uh, aligns with the magnetic field. Here we have the z-axis, and you can see that it spins, and that's the only reason why it's here. But I get to know from Scala that people are amazed by my legs, particularly when they are shaved. Uh, so I'll try to explain you what does it mean spinning. Uh, because NMR is everywhere. Also in Brno, it was established here until 80s or something like that. Tesla was developing the magnets. And you may know that there is electron microscope, but they could, that, can, that came much later. NMR is much more important. Am I right? Where is Pavel? Am I right? Yes, I'm right. So, uh, but then unfortunately we dropped the NMR and we moved to electron microscopy. So, uh, what is its spin? Um, we need the music. We go. It's getting here. So somebody from NMR is here. So I like smiling faces. But there are also people who think, OK, those spots excite you? Yes, they do. And we call them peaks. <coughs> and you have seen that if uh, the peaks are intense enough, we can make structures of proteins. And how do we do that? We measure the intensities of the peaks. And then we have bounds, uh, boundaries and we can uh, do molecular dynamics. And at the end, we will have the house. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten peaks. And they are connected by the intensities that we have measured through our bow ties. And at the end, we have this beautiful house. Just from this, from uh, these two nice guys, from NMR, and of course, from our GAGA sequence. And uh, what at the end? Do we have something for the end? Uh, some people say that it's similar to R2D2. Uh, I don't think so, actually, but uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm too old to, to see uh, the, the R2D2 in the, in the magnet. And there is also MRI, which goes to that. Unfortunately, no volunteer was uh, available today, and I don't have the longboard anymore. So what I'm telling you, it's uh, true both for uh, NMR as well for magnetic resonance in uh, medicine. Just there, the magnet is 90 degree flipped, so there I would have to have a different uh, pole lens. Uh, it wouldn't be ball lens, it would be just gym gymnastics. And uh, I'm at the end of the show. Um, if I'm not wrong, it was about 15 minutes. I was supposed to fit in 10. So I thanks for your attention. And you are all welcome 
but please don't hurt yourself if you will try to, to spin around. And uh, I thank for the music, and I thank you for your attention. That's it. You know you like it like me.